Attention Thursday night television auction viewers. Rare Collectibles TV will now be offering one main large auction show a month. Our next live television auction show will be Thursday, February 1st. Four straight hours of auction fun, excitement, stunning coins, and super auction deals. And here to tell you more about the auction coins on the February 1st live television show is numismatic expert, Jack McNamara. Here is an 1885 Carson City $20 gold double eagle certified by NGC in Mint State 62. Now we all know how rare Carson City silver dollars are, silver coins from Carson City, but the gold coins are way more rare. And this coin is one of the most significant coins to come from the Carson City Mint. The 1885 CC has the lowest mintage of any $20 gold double eagle from the 1880s, mintage of just 9,450 coins. So less than 10,000 of these were even made back in 1885. And to survive in this condition is a huge deal. This is a coin where NGC is only graded six in Mint State 62 and only one higher. So you're looking at one of the finest examples of one of the lowest mintage, rarest $20 Carson City coins. NGC price guide lists this coin as $100,000 we're gonna open the bidding at just $79,000. Here I have a 1798 gold quarter eagle in mint state 61 condition. This is a big deal. Early US gold, coins from the first few decades of the US mint, any coins from that era are just huge holy grails for numismatists. These are the coins that people chase and may never even see. This is a huge deal. This coin from 1798, this is only the third year that the two and a half dollar gold quarter eagle was struck. Mintage was only 1,094 coins. So can you imagine, only just over a thousand of these were made in 1798. So few of these coins survive in any condition at all, let alone Mint State 61. Now this coin is the wide date five berries variety. So the date is a little wider than some of the other coins and the eagle is holding a olive branch that has five olives on it. So this variety in particular is extremely rare. Only about 45 or 55 of these exist in any grade. NGC has only graded two coins in Mint State 61 and only three finer. This is an exceptional coin. You don't see early gold of any date or variety or denomination that looks like this. Beautiful luster, almost a proof-like quality to it. Very reflective, excellent strike, all of the details. And again, in 1798, that is not normally the case. Just a beautiful, beautiful example. This is a very exceptional rare coin. NGC price guide on this is $165,000. I'm gonna open the bidding at just $95,000. All right, here's something you don't see every day or probably not even every decade. This is an 1814 British Indian peace medal. This is silver, but this is more related to US history than British history. And let me explain why. Indian peace dollars were given out to Native American chiefs to build alliances and friendships and create relationships. Usually when you see an Indian peace medal, it'll have an American president on it. Now the most famous and valuable Indian peace medals have Thomas Jefferson, because those medals were actually given out by Lewis and Clark on their journey across the country. They would give those and present them to Native chiefs. This one, as you see, is British and it features King George III, and it's from 1814. The reason being, this would have been presented during the War of 1812, where the British were trying to create alliances with Native American chiefs to help, you know, they were trying to win the war, obviously, against our fledgling nation at the time. Now, these were a huge deal. They're very rare. You'll notice this says, Unc details hold. Now, that's actually better than if it had a numeric grade. Usually when you see details grade, it means it was cleaned or wiped or you know has a hole. Things like this are normally bad things. In this case, that is a 
good thing because it means this wasn't just a leftover metal that was left over at the mint and you know given to somebody you know kept by an employee this means it was presented to a native chief that's the normal because these would have been worn around the neck of the chiefs if you look at old paintings of native chiefs they often have these large what we call indian peace medals this example was given out in 1814 and there's an interesting little story I read. A Captain Bulger, who was a commander at Green Bay, he wrote in 1815, talking about these medals, that said, formerly a chief would have parted with his life rather than his medal. So just to say that these native chiefs at the time would have rather died than to give up their peace medal if they were given one. So a very, very important piece of U.S. history right here, even though it was struck and presented by the British. This is pedigreed to the John Ford collection, which sold about 20 years ago when I was at Stax. That collection auctioned for over $60 million, and it all featured Americana such as this, and this was from that famous collection. Bidding on this is gonna open at just $18,000. To learn about all the stunning auction coins we have curated for our February 1st Thursday live show, go to rarecollectiblestv.com and click the auction coins button. Each of the remarkable treasures available will display an auction open price and bidding increment as well as stats about its historical significance and rarity. You won't want to miss this. Be sure to tune in right here on this channel for our next television live auction show. That's Thursday, February 1st, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, right here on this channel.